for it. Well, prior to the Heavenly Father openly showing his wisdom, which again is a resource, it had to be searched out. Matter of fact, let's go to, this is the book of First Kings, the fourth chapter. And starting at the 30th verse, it says, And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the East Country and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all men, than Ethan the Ezraite, and Haman, and Calcol, and Darda, the sons of Mahal, and his fame was in all nations round about. So you see here where the scriptures is making mention of certain men who were renowned for their wisdom. Well, Solomon's wisdom exceeded them all. See? Verse 32, And he spake three thousand proverbs, and his songs were a thousand and five. And he spake of trees from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon, even unto the hyssop that springeth out of the wall. He spake also of beasts, and of fowl, and of creeping things, and of fishes. So Solomon's wisdom was infinite. See? He had knowledge of all things. Verse 34, and this is the point. It says, And there came of all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon. Yeah, let's read this again. And there came of all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon from all kings of the earth which had heard of his wisdom. So you had kings from all over the earth to travel to hear the wisdom of Solomon. Meaning at that time, wisdom had to be sought out. And guess what? They didn't have any planes, trains, or automobiles. They had to physically search out the wisdom in which Solomon possessed. 